Hello cycling enthusiasts, today we're going to talk about pumping up your tyres, which sounds like something terribly obvious and easy, and indeed it is, but there are a few little tips. We're going to talk about the two types of valve, Schrader, which is the fat type, like the ones on your car, which you will see on a lot of mountain bikes and hybrid bikes. This is Tom's son's birthday bicycle, which we rebuilt in a previous video. The other type of valve is the smaller Presta, which you will see here on my posh Orca. We'll come on to that in a minute. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you is don't bother with a e -e 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 type bicycle pump. They're for emergencies on the road. For pumping your tyres up properly at home, use either a stirrup pump like this one or, if you must, a car type foot pump, although that's less good. This stirrup pump is particularly good because it has a universal end which will suit Schrader valves, the fat ones, and Presta valves, the thin, skinny ones that you get on the posh road bikes. First of all, we're going to talk about dust caps. Now, a lot of cyclists are a bit sniffy about dust caps. They sort of think they're uncool, but actually they're an extremely good idea, especially with Schrader valves, because if I take it off, this is a brand new bike, obviously the valves are in perfect condition, but let's imagine you've been riding that around for years without a dust cap on. If you come in and look at the top of the valve, you will see it's like a little cup almost where dust and grit and cack will collect. And eventually when you press down the pin in order to put air in, a bit of that cack will go down in there and stop it closing fully. And you'll have a very slow puncture in effect because the valve is leaking. So use dust caps. If you haven't used dust caps for a while, get some to put on. And before you pump the tires up, Use a compressor, if you have one, to blow dust out, or most people don't have a compressor. Get yourself some sort of little pastry brush or paint brush, or in this case, a wheel cleaning brush, and give it a bit of a, what would you call that action? A bit of a stipple. Make sure the dust is out and, or indeed turn the wheel over. This one doesn't have any dust in it, as I said, because it's new. Right, now we can pump up the front tire of Tom's son's birthday bicycle. And I can use either pump for this, but I'm going to use the stirrup pump with the very clever universal end. One thing you need to be aware of is which way do you move the lever? On this one, you put it on and then lift the lever up to depress the pin that operates the valve. On this old fashioned car type foot pump, you put it on and press the lever down. But it will be obvious when you look at your pump which way around it works. And if you get it wrong, it won't work, so that will be a clue. So I'm trying to do this so you can see what's going on. Put my universal end on the pump, press it down firmly, lift up the lever. You will know that it's on because the pressure that's in there, I did let it down a bit, that's registered on the dial. It's always nice to have a pump with a, with a pressure gauge on it so you're not guessing. And then we'll speed this bit up. This is a little workout for you. I see deer, I see deer in my rear view mirror. Okay, that is the tyre pumped up. Release the lever, Ooh, pull off the, it's quite stiff that one, and put the dust cap back on, you peasant. I see deer, I see deer in my rear view. Okay, now let's look at the Presta valve on the Orca. Now, some people have a bit of a downer on Prestas. They say, why are we still bothering with these in the modern world when most pumps, most airlines are adapted for Schrader valves? These are much thinner and work in a different way. But if you've got lightweight, thin wheels, like you have on a road bike like this, the hole for the Schrader valve would weaken it considerably. The Presta goes in a much smaller hole, more wheel survives around it, and it's stronger. These will also sustain extremely high pressures. First, to take off the dust cap, because you have dust caps, and then you unscrew a little locking nut on the top all the way, not tight to the end, but screw it all the way to the end. And then to make sure it's free, give it a little tap with your finger. That's especially good on, on bikes with tubeless tires because they will have sealant in them. And sometimes a tiny little drop of sealant gets in there and makes it a bit stiff. If it can't move, the air won't go in. Put the dust cap in your mouth like that so you don't lose it because they roll away. Now we can use my universal pump. Can you see this? Put the end on. This is all very obvious, but be careful not to put it on cockeyed because you can bend that and then you'll have to put a new core in. Put it on smartly all the way down, lift up the lever 
a pressure registers. I've let it down a bit for the purposes of this demonstration. And then, as before, speed it up. I see deer, I see deer in my rear view mirror. If you want to sound like you've had something wrong with you in the last few months, simply hold a dust cap from a bicycle between your lips, but continue trying to talk normally. Okay, I'm not, uh, not pumping it all the way up because I want to show you something else. Let's imagine you don't have this. Let's imagine you only have <laughs> bicycle pump or your old fashioned car foot pump. Now that, that is designed for Schrader valve, so it's not going to fit on there. If I try and put that on there, you're just going to let a load of air out to the top. What you need is an adapter, and I always keep one in the little weed and condoms pocket of my bicycle repair jeans. It looks like this. I've had mine for many years, sometimes they're made of plastic. But it's essentially threaded to go over the presser valve and then that end is bigger to accept the Schrader pump. As before, undo the locking nut, the locking ring all the way, give it a tap to make sure it's free. Then screw the adapter on and put it on nice and square because otherwise as you tighten it up, you will screw the locking ring back down and then you won't be able to put any air in. Okay, that's gone on the square. Now, the Schrader pump head will attach. Yeah. And then you can pump it up rather tediously with the squeaky foot pump. I don't like that. I only use that adapter in absolute dire emergencies. Most of the time it just stays in the weed and condoms pocket. Let's finish it off with the proper pump. I cannot over recommend one of these. They're not expensive, sort of 15, 20 quid. I've had this one for at least 20 years. Put that back on. I need to put another 10 or so PSI in there. That is up to pressure. Release the lever and remove that smartly so you don't let any air out. Screw the locking nut back up, pulling on it as you go. Don't push as you screw it up, otherwise you'll let some air out like that. Screw it up, it doesn't have to be massively tight. Reasonable finger tight. Put the dust cap back on. Like, comment, subscribe. And finally, Check that that little locking ring on the rim is tight. It will tend to work loose as you pump the tire up. If you leave it loose as you ride along, it'll make a tiny little buzzing, rattling sound, which will drive you round the bend. So there you are, both types of bicycle tire successfully pumped up. I hope that wasn't too boring or too patronizing for you. Like, comment, subscribe, comment, subscribe, like, subscribe, like, comment. Is there anything else? Oh, goodbye.